The vStorage APIs allow ESX and Virtual Center to directly leverage and integrate with advanced array features. Here we will be demonstrating the effect of using the vStorage write offload capabilities with EMC storage platforms. In Navisphere Analyzer you can see two LUNs here, one without offload and one with offload. If we go to ESX, you can see that this is a future build of ESX and Virtual Center that have these advanced APIs enabled. And if we go into advanced settings, you can see that you can turn on or off the advanced features. The first API, the one on the top, is the ability for ESX to tell the array what blocks make up a VM for advanced movement and snapshot capability. And the bottom one is to offload repeat tasks, or in effect, IOD dupe. What we're going to do now is we're going to create two VMs, one on each LUN. We're going to be configuring them using the eager zero thick format because this is a fault tolerant VM which depends on that disk format. But this IOD duplication has got a benefit for all of the uh, VMDK disk types. Let's return to Navisphere Analyzer where we can see the amount of data that's flowing into the front end of the Clarion storage processor. We sped up the time frame. In this case, the actual workload takes 10 minutes during which all of the I.O. is being deduped. You notice the red line, which is the non-offloaded VM. There's a fairly large amount of throughput coming into the Clarion here, 150 megabytes per second. But the blue line, the offloaded one, is completely flat. This is very, very good because it means that you're saving a lot of your SAN bandwidth. It's great for fiber and FCOE, but it's fantastic for one gigabit per second iSCSI. So what's actually occurring here under the covers? Well, ESX and the storage array are acting in concert to be much more efficient. Rather than transmitting the same SCSI blocks over and over again, it simply tells the array, I'm about to send you this block sequence, simply repeat it. This in effect deduplicates all of the I.O. traffic that would normally go between the ESX server and the storage array. All of EMC's arrays support this capability. So if you're an EMC customer, you'll be ready to leverage this as soon as it becomes available from VMware. Furthermore, research is currently underway between EMC and VMware to see how we can leverage the fact that EMC arrays have got large-scale multi-core CPUs to accelerate the actual task itself. So if today the task takes 10 minutes and is constantly consuming 150 megabytes over your SAN, not only can we take the SAN throughput down to zero, but we can also accelerate the task from 10 minutes down to one. Thanks very much and enjoy VMworld.